Hello everyone. Tonight we are going to do a galaxy style straight pour. I am using Artist Loft White with some satin enamel from DecoArt, a couple of tablespoons in um, this cup, and the Floetrol to paint consists um, uh, ratio is I'm. Um, one part paint to two parts Floetrol usually works, but do it to consistency because Floetrol varies in its thickness. And so you, you really don't want to just stick hard and fast to, to that rule because sometimes your Floetrol will be a lot thinner and then it's not going to be as thick as you need for it to be. I have... Um, put saran wrap on my doubled uh, on my cups and then put a rubber band around them and that keeps them fresh for longer so no air can get to them. Here I have um, it is Deco Art Berry and uh, the dollar store purple and I kept it so that I maintained the dollar store purple um, but thickened it up with the berry and of course the flow trawl because it was so thick. So it's mound upon mound and it leaves a trace and then disappears. And here I have copper and this is um, DecoArt copper and then I mixed that with some um, light copper from uh, Art Mines. So it's a little bit lighter, but it still is maintaining that nice rich copper covering. And then we have Deco Arts 24 karat gold just mixed with Floetrol. Again, mound upon mound, leaves a trace. And if it were fuller, my, my spoon would stay standing. You can see how thick it is, because that's a plastic spoon, so it's pretty thick. And then we have DecoArt Peacock Pearl mixed with Appleberry, Apple Barrel Caribbean and I've used more of the Apple Barrel Caribbean and then just used the Peacock Pearl to pearlize the paint and to thicken it up because the dollar store paints are very thin. And this is one of my very favorite colors. I use it in pretty much every painting I do. This is half and half and you can your mixture can be anything. Generally, I like to do two parts of the um, the sapphire deco art sapphire with one part um, of the emerald from deco art. Both are metallics, but I did half and half this time, so I had even green and uh, the blue. It, it blended very well, but I have the green uh, hue to it. So you can you can mix that any way you want, but if you want more green, then add more emerald and do a two to one with the emerald as opposed to the, the blue. I wanted it more blue. And then last but not least, we have the um, art, um, hmm. Artist Loft Flow acrylic um, in the blue, the dark blue, and then I added um, some of the sapphire, deco art sapphire into it, and it made it a metallic color. Gave it those nice silver undertones. And I use a lot of this too. I always put it in the center of my paintings because I like it to look like the sky. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill our cup.
going to do some of this dark blue and then some of this peacock pearl and uh, Caribbean. There is no um, silicone in these paints. There is just the the uh, the additive that I put in here with the with the enamel paint. That's what makes it react with the metallics and so on. gives you your little cells, it gives you a cloud-like um, effect. And we're going to do some gold. I am making a huge mess and I haven't put my gloves on yet. And then we'll do some copper. I love gold and copper together. start again with the dark blue. I'm going to put some white in the middle of that just to make sure it doesn't give me a wonky color. I got the blue and my light blue. Want a little splash of a different color here and white. And let's see, we'll cap it off with some gold. So, this really pretty dark blue green mixture. And there's our cup. Now let me glove up and move my canvas and um, we'll get to pouring. Okay, so let's put our puddle in the middle. My canvas is an artist loft 20 by 20 by 1 and I do take the back and be sure you spray some water on the back. Um, just a little bit of water and move it around with your hands to distribute it so that um, it tightens up that canvas. It's real important that you do that. seeing looks like 
something under the paint, but I think it might just be sometimes at the bottom of a cup if you let it sit. Um, you get these little lumps if you didn't mix it really, really well. And so just break them up <laughs> with your tweezers. You don't want that in your painting because it will show. And torch the bubbles. Sometimes I even have to strain these paints. Especially when I've used the cup, you know, and, and um, refilled it without emptying it. Um, you'll end up scraping the sides of the cup and that pulls in the dry paint and then it makes a mess. So you want to make sure that you strain that. Okay, and I've got bubbles in my cup. tail. I always get a little tail in there. It looks pretty good. I keep trying for wings and that's what I want. I want wings. It looks like I might have gotten my wings today. That's why I said it's a galaxy style cord. It's some um, Ceramax technique, but I like the wings. <laughs> okay. And my cat wants in, so I'm going to pause this for a second and let him in. Otherwise, he will scurry up the door and shake it. Okay, I'm going to go around the petal with some white. It's um, also Artist Loft, and I do have a little bit of the satin enamel in here. I try not to put it in here as much as possible just to save money, and because it's difficult to get sometimes with this whole lockdown thing. Some of the manufacturers aren't able to keep up with the demand, and so, anyway, it saves money. This is um, a flow extender. It, it um, if you haven't watched 
other videos, this um, helps the paint not to roll over your puddle to roll over on itself and, and distort your your composition that you're trying to maintain when you stretch it. So we'll just spread it out. To make sure it rolls over the edge. I also like to make sure that I get the corners. I'm just fast forward through this, it's boring you. Second, my cat wants back out again. Okay. That cat is the boss of the house. <laughs> Let's go ahead and torch. stretch it. Now I move my canvas kitty corner to myself because um, I'm short and my arms are short and otherwise I run this whole part of the canvas into my myself so Let's, I've got a few more bubbles to get out of here. this this corner first. I'm going to try to go as slow as I can. So I want it to hit the sides too, the the side um the long sides of this, not just the edge of the the corner here. I don't want to lose too much paint either. Back to the center. And now I'm going to come over to this side again as slow as I can. And back to the center. Good. I'm going to torch it again. I really whipped in a lot of bubbles into my paint. cover my potty pads on this table. I've got plastic on it and then I've got the potty pads on it 
and then I've got this newspaper that I tape together on it and it saves me from having to change out those potty pads um, for several pours and that saves money so newspaper is cheaper than and a little bit of tape is far cheaper than those pads are. Oh, I'm really liking this. I've got some pretty good uniformity, which is what I was really hoping for and going for, because I love the angel wing um, look of these straight pores. And all these cells, they're just gorgeous. Multicolored multi stripes in them. And I like to add things to my paintings after the fact. Now, if it's perfect and, you know, not that when I add things to it, it's not perfect, but if it just stand alone is just gorgeous and, you know, it doesn't really, uh, it wouldn't add to the painting to, to put anything else on there. It would detract from it. I don't, but um, I like to add, like, the sun, the moon, stars. I did dolphins on one because um, it looked like I did a um, eclipse, and so the dolphins were were enjoying that, and the dolphin, just stuff like that. That's what I enjoy doing. My airbrush. Gold and copper made orange this time. It's interesting. Back to the center. And this is looking so pretty. Now more than likely in a video to come. Oops. I got some on my floor. Let me get that up. Um, I might go ahead and add, add an angel uh, in the middle of this. That's what thrills me about doing pore painting and this technique specifically. Okay, and over to the side. I want to dump a little more of this paint off, but I want to open these bands up just a little bit more. center. Move it up a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, that is just so pretty. Let me get my hands cleaned off and I'll bring you in and you can see what we've got here. It's just gorgeous. I'm so happy with this. Be right back. Look at this. This beautiful feathery look. Uh, my lights are going to be a nuisance tonight. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have this area. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at that cell. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And actually that's gold. I don't know why it's showing up as an orange because it's very pretty gold. I've got those little cells. That's the center. And then we've got these feathers. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> Mm 
and all those wisps. And that is not blue, actually. That is um, different hues of the purple. I don't know why it's showing up. At least it is to me showing up as a blue with my camera. I do not know why. And then here, this whole bottom area just runs all along this edge. Has all those different cells with the multiple colors and your feathers. Now I'm going to pull back and let you see the whole thing. I'll try to anyway. I'm getting the light from overhead. I am so sorry. There's not much I can do about it. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'd appreciate it if you would like and share and comment. I thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.